Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Vail Dog, and this is my kitchen, where I'll be teaching you how to make affordable restaurant quality food, or better, from my home to yours. Guys, stay tuned in, and let's get cooking. Okay guys, today on the chopping block, I'm gonna be making you guys a barbecue pulled chicken. All right, that's what that is. All right. All right, you, you're gonna need some pulled chicken, which I didn't pull, <laughs> I did pull a little bit. All I did was um, smoke me um, a chicken, which I forgot to show you guys when I was barbecuing the other day. Okay, um, it was a spatchcock chicken or something I smoked. And uh, this is the remaining leftover meat from it. So it's smoked on there. <clears throat> and uh, we're just gonna be making a pulled chicken. So you don't have to do what I did. You can buy your tissue roll chicken or if you have anything left over off that tissue roll chicken. Rotisserie chicken. <laughs> if you have anything left over off that rotisserie chicken or any chicken that you unbaked or fried or whatever case may be, just pull the skin off and put it in the pot. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to use some Pepsi. I'm going to use probably half of this right here to pour in here. And I'm gonna let this simmer and cook. And it's about half. I'm gonna put a little bit more. That's about half. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna cover this up, guys. We're gonna let this cook. And these are the buns that I'm gonna be using right here. All right? Now, of course, you know, this is awesome, guys. I want you to see that up close because you guys need to go get some of this. I got lucky and found this at Costco. And it tastes different from the regular one. This is a natural, all sweet, gluten free, no corn syrup. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do, go ahead and put this and let this simmer for about the half an hour. So we're gonna break that up real good. Okay. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. Let's go ahead and check on this. Turn it down some. You can see um, most of that stuff cooked out. We do want to leave some of that juice and stuff in there. Try to break this up a little bit. It's okay to have a little chunks here and there. I did not put any seasoning in this, okay? So that you know, all right? Now. What I'm going to do is put a drop of this apple cider in there, cap that. I really don't need it, but I'm going to do it because I love apple cider and it helps clean the system out. All right. Mix that up in there a little bit. Now, if we don't have smoked chicken, you can always go buy some smoked seasoning. Okay. All right, let me get the barbecue sauce. I try not to overdo it, overkill on the barbecue sauce. All right, so that's like a half a cup. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit more. Right there. That should be it. Cause we don't wanna overkill. This barbecue sauce make you wanna pour it all on it. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I got my brioche bun toasted. I'm gonna let this cook for about good five more minutes on simmer and we'll take it out and put it on our buns all right let me taste that matter of fact make sure perfect all right now nah, we're gonna do that off 
Let's let it simmer. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, I just went ahead and put that on there. It ain't nothing to do. Just put it on there, right? Take you some onions. Throw them bad boys on there. Like that. Make sure they all covered. It looks like they all covered. Probably put a little piece over here. Ah, that's good. I'm going to put our buns on there. I did put barbecue sauce on the bun as well. Top and bottom. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Put your pickle in there. Like that. Just like that, y'all. Nothing spectacular. Okay? You can turn them or whatever if you want to make it look cute or all that good stuff. Okay? I'm just go ahead and turn this at an angle. Right, there you go. Put this over here. So I can showcase my barbecue sauce. Alright guys, there it is. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Put it over here. There it is guys. Barbecue pulled chicken. Okay, uh, if you guys like this video, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And please, that's right, hit that bell. That's right, hit that bell to you too can be notified when I blow another delicious recipe. And I'll see you guys next time in Veldon's Kitchen. I'm out.